Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Spanish Cordoba football team is playing a friendly match with the Bahraini Al Khaldiya Club as part of the training camp held by the Spanish club in Bahrain. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the presence of the Cordoba team in Bahrain to hold a training camp is important is an important sports event for the kingdom, which became a preferred destination for teams, asserting the kingdom's status in the sports sector, which receives the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness added that the presence of the team in Bahrain will promote the kingdom and its achievements in various fields, including sports, and will highlight it as a host for sports events. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed appreciation for the efforts of the President and members of the Cordoba team in achieving the goals of the Board of Directors and the club's teams. The Shura Council congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on Bahrain Diplomatic Day. The Council affirmed that the success and distinction achieved by Bahrain diplomacy for over 50 years came as a result of the Kingdom's efforts in consolidating relations with all countries, hailing the efforts made by the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister, to deepen partnerships and constructive cooperation with the governments and brotherly and friendly countries that translates the strat strategies that underpin Bahraini diplomacy. He commended the pivotal and important role of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in strengthening Bahrain's relations with various countries to raise the kingdom's status. The Representatives Council also extended its congratulations to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the occasion of Bahraini Diplomacy Day. The Representatives Council expressed pride in the achievements, progress and development made by Bahraini Diplomacy throughout its march in light of the wise foreign policy and the strengthening of the cooperation, coordination, brotherhood and friendship with the countries of the world and highlighting the leading position of Bahrain regionally and internationally according to a balanced diplomatic approach and as a result of the support it receives from His Majesty the King who ordered that January 14 of each year be de dedicated to celebrating Bahraini Diplomacy Day. In appreciation for the role and contributions of national diplomatic Kid Reyes, stressing his support for Bahraini diplomacy, integration, coordination and effective cooperation through parliamentary diplomacy. Diplomacy. A press conference, conference was held in the presence of the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, Information and E-Government Authority IGA, Chief Executive Mohammed Ali Al Qaid, CEO of the National Center for Cybersecurity, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, CEO of Temkin, Hussein Rajab, and the Assistant Undersecretary for Commercial Registration and Companies at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Nibras Talib, to announce the strategy of the information information and communications technology ICT sector and the digital economy 2022-2026. The minister affirmed that the strategy comes within the framework of the priority of developing promising sectors in the eco economic recovery plan and with the aim of developing the country's productive service and economic sectors, including the ICT sector and digital economy, to reach a comprehensive economic development in accordance with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, supports the ICT sector and the digital economy. Al Qaid said that IGA is committed to achieving the goals of the strategy to provide support to individuals and institutions in the kingdom through pioneering programs and projects to develop the level of its services. Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed noted that the center is keen on implementing the latest international security standards to reduce security risks to the kingdom's institutions. The CEO of Temkin said that Temkin is committed to achieving the goals of the strategy through the development of digital capabilities. The Ministry of Ind Industry Undersecretary also said that the ministry will contribute to implementing the strategy directly by enhancing the role of e-commerce in the development of of the economy.
The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Engineer Wael Al Mubarak, affirmed that the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, continues the efforts to develop the quality of government services for citizens and residents, noting that the Electricity and Water Authority, IWA, completes the digital transformation of 10 services to serve 400,000 subscribers in electricity services. The minister stated that IWA is proceeding according to work plans and pace required for digital transformation. He he added that the procedures prior to the digital, digital transformation required subscribers to personally attend service centers to apply for services and submit documents, but following the transformation, applications can be submitted online. For his part, the CEO of IWA, Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, noted that subscribers can submit applications online and inquire about them without attending or making an appointment, adding that the authorities' plans for digital tra transformation initiatives continue in cooperation and coordination with the information and e-government authority according to organized frameworks and clear and studied action plans. Within the framework of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to provide 40,000 housing units and in line with the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute an additional 2,000 units to citizens, the Housing Ministry stated that the distribution of units to eligible citizens across various governments according to a clear timeline. The Ministry asserted that the housing projects and to the Kingdom's housing achievements attained under the Comprehensive Development March, spearheaded by His his Majesty the King and the unwavering interest of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to provide housing units to the citizens. The Ministry stated that the distribution of the 2,000 units is part of the government's pledge in action to an action plan to provide 25,000 housing units. It also affirmed its plans to launch new housing projects in order to achieve the goals of the economic recovery plan. The Housing Ministry received the beneficiaries from the East Sitra Town and East Head Town and handed them ownership contracts and keys while adhering to the precautionary measures to limit the spread of the coronavirus pandemic.